Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos, with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Watch Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos on Carib Vision, midnight on Mondays, and Friday nights at 11 p.m. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Thank you for joining us for the continuation of this episode. Please enjoy the program and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My coach ministry says it's interesting <laughs> the conversation is interesting listen yes it is yes it I is I think lady g they fuss if it's too small mm -hmm. and if it's too big make up your mind what you want you can't you be can't satisfied. find out what, what that's like how bad can't satisfy us everything we want this we want that Mister, and no matter what we do, Massa, listen we just have to appreciate what that's we've it. been given. And that's, that's the most it. important thing that I can leave with anybody. When we looked at when we look at what our marital beauty is, yes. a part of it, the whole ownership of the body, we have to make sure that we take care of our own, but we also take care of our our, our persons. Yes. We, we have, have to, to take care of it. We appreciate. have to appreciate yes. what we've been given because God has blessed us. So if we cannot appreciate it, listen to me, somebody else, I can appreciate it for we talk, talk, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Somebody else. Right, talk it, about so it. look at you talk looking at, it. oh, size matters, size matters, size matters. Oh, I don't want a skinny wife. Oh, I don't want a fat wife. Yes. Oh, I don't want a man mm -hmm. with a small penis. Oh, I don't want to. And look on somebody else. Yes. Just I say, all right, me appreciate that for you. One man, one man garbage, another man treasure. Oh, listen to me now, <laughs> man. There's another person out there that says size That's does right. not matter to That's me. Right. I love what I'm seeing. Yeah, I exactly. love what I'm getting. That's it. Help him to satisfy you. If you realize, say, we don't have this undeniable connection and he has a penis that is probably not going to reach your particular crevice and corner, mm -hmm. look here, man. Whip out the ties. Teach him how to have oral sex with you. That's Teach right. Teach him how to use him mouth. Foreplay. Foreplay. Yeah, man, foreplay. Very important. See, Satin Brown is commenting what needs to be done by the church to change the culture that causes individuals to get hung up on these sizes. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, you see, question. the church needs to now teach that whole idea of body positivity. Yeah, they're ashamed of their body. That's what it is. Exactly. But who's going to teach it, though? I don't know, that's a, but that's the what they, can't to get they don't even that. touch a book. Of, they don't touch a book of Songs of Solomon. So how they oh. gonna teach it? But that's where it needs to happen. <laughs> so if we teach body positivity at the youngest stage, and just continue the conversation right up to when persons are married, then you'll find that this you know appreciation of what we have inherently will be just that i appreciate it and i'm gonna work with it and i love me and i love you and so we won't be hung up on that's right, that's right. And such a... so we just gotta take our time you see what i what i really believe that premarital counseling is so important oh yes and if everybody take the time, at least not not three weeks, at least six months. That's three right. Six months. Let's say six yes. months. Because that's, I think that's a decent amount of time. Yes, yes, really, yes. Because you only got once a week, so we say about six months. So right. if we take that time and ask the particular questions, 
because you know as, a, as i do marital counseling as well and the different sections of the questionnaire that i ask and part of it is the sexual part of it yeah you know and and there's some questions that when some of the couples i was asking they never thought about those things mm -mm. that's so true so 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 true and you know e-worship connect welcome to um they ask do we really know how to love mm. well love begins with us yeah because you know love you don't love love us. come on come on you took yourself. the words right out i learned that the hard way yes i learned that the hard way so we you have love yourself to first. turn the love inward first. That's right. A lot That's of right. us are searching for love, but That's when it. it when it comes to ourselves, we look in the mirror and we say we're so critical of ourselves. Yes, and that we got to stop that. The body shaming and things like we, that. We, we don't that. love ourselves, but yes, we're right. out there trying to search for love. Yes. One, we're not going to be able to appreciate the fact that the person loves us for us. And That's we right. won't be able to love and appreciate the person for who they are. Who they are. That's right. Because who you are as a person will attract that person. So if oh, you're yes. negative, you're going to attract negative Oh, people. yes. If oh, you're positive, yes. you're going to attract positive vibes around you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And yes, Satin Brownie, we haven't loved ourselves, but we're out here looking for love. That's what I'm saying. Talk about it. That's right. Out here, we have no business looking for love if we cannot love ourselves first. That's right. But but you know, also think uh, a lot of that also stems from you see models at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your yeah. Parents being mm. uh, affectionate to each other. Some some children, I know like us, we never really had anybody hugging us, telling us you're, lo you're, you're beautiful. I love mm. you. You don't hear yeah. all those statements. And you don't yeah. see your parents kissing in front of you. You don't see them right. holding hands. No, right. Whether in, in, at home or in public, you don't see either one of those. Yeah. Because for some reason, they so ashamed of the fact that if, if you mention that word sex, they just like clam up. They freaked out. They freak yeah, out. Yes. You know, it, 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 and it's so, it's so, uh, and that's what really has caused a lot of all these, it has evolved to this where it, it, it is right now because. Mm -hmm of the constant negativity that yeah. surrounded everything yeah. and you know even to this day i talked to i had sent um the link last time to somebody she's married but her marriage been you know on the rocks mm -hmm. for a while and she said don't send that thing to me the size matter don't send that to i said but you're a married woman what are you afraid of wow. i don't want to hear that i don't want to hear that i don't want to do that oral sex don't be doing that i'm like excuse you Honey, that stuff is good. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> she was all oh. bent out of shape. I said, girl, I will not send you anything again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. See, they're, they're, they they're they don't realize that. Listen, we need to understand these things because when we go into our own relationship, this is how we're going to appreciate what the person has. Right. So when we go through all our problems and 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 it's just so this whole idea of size. Listen to me. The size of the love, exactly. The size of the care. This whole idea of size it transcends even physicality. Yes, and and it can make the man lose something about himself. Oh, to you keep yes. criticizing his size. He will not be able to get it up because he's connected oh, oh my goodness. psychologically. Oh my goodness. You gotta be very careful with that. That's right. all that, you, you won't have an enjoyment. That's right. Satin Brownie says, For me, I thought love was romance, chemistry, yes. and someone's That's right. presence. I didn't realize how little I knew about real, real love. love. That's right. Oh, the person make you feel yes, like you are yes. loved and you are cherished, and that's the size that matters. Hold them go above and beyond to make sure say you're happy. That's the size that matters. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. That's right. So we need to move away from the whole um 
small-minded thinking of what um size is yes we'll the upon that again we'll graduate from very that. good this is excellent i like this you know that's a very we'll good graduate from that. yeah whoever put that question out that that was a very good question and that oh, yeah. i hope that this broadcast helped them to understand stop focusing so much definitely 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 just be thankful what the lord gave you thank god you got of something course, of course of course some people some men because of accidents their penis have cut off that's it and they can't or it just don't work it don't work at all they're paraplegic the situation. And... right right they've lost all nerve in their body because of an accident exactly. things happen but you know that should not stop you from um you know be able to uh stimulate each other be able to make that connection so what is this yes. all about yeah what is so it really? why did we, you get we, together that's, well, that's it that's it so if you realize in your your relationship that the person seems to be a little insecure about how they may look or anything like that Remember, we talk about marital duty in our scripture. Yes. Your marital duty is to build <laughs> that person up. Yes. Build that person up. That's your marital duty. That's important. E-Worship Connect says, if we are uncomfortable talking about it, we will be uncomfortable doing it. If you are uncomfortable paying That's your wife true. a compliment... Look here, man. If you are uncomfortable paying your wife a compliment behind doors, wrong. yes. When you are out there in the public, it's gonna be uncomfortable if you're That's asked right. to do it. That's right. That's right. If you are uncomfortable telling your wife or your husband how much you love their body, you are going to be uncomfortable coupling with them that's right and you know what comes to mind too is a lot of times people tend to uh live together shacking up first without doing it the way the lord says to do it mm -hmm. because when you when you have that you see the sexual part as i've always said before it's the uh the intimate it's the ministry part and yes. when you start doing that before marriage you kind of change the whole dynamic of the relationship. So it's hard mm -hmm. to get to know the person when you already made that sexual connection. Because the exactly. sexual connection is the ultimate part of the relationship. That's why it says for you to be married first. Then that mm -hmm. wedding night is that special night. Special you night. consummate the relationship and it consummates your love because you was in six months of counseling you get some yes. idea what this person is you're looking forward to that wedding night you know so i feel if a lot of us do it the way the lord designed it to be i think mm. it's it'd be so much more exciting you know and, and, and instead of just you know people talking about oh i gotta try it out first before I can mm. marry, but you're not marrying right. somebody based on sexual, sexual nothing. You're, you're marrying the, the whole person. So you can't base your marriage based on if the sex is good or not. You that build on work. that. Yes, you so build on shallow. that. That means you're shallow thinking. Exactly. You don't start stuff like that, ladies and exactly. gentlemen. You build up to it. Exactly. You build up to it, you know. You know, just go put the uh, the, 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 the house before the cat. Awesome. Exactly. Go, or the cat before the us. Right. And no, I have had preachers. I have had preachers know. who will not marry any woman unless they have sex with her first. I never heard it in my life. You are a preacher. You're a man of God. A woman of God. You you need to do better. You the know what I mean? The devil is a liar. Exactly. How 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 can you be trying it out and you're preaching the gospel and you gotta. You got to try. That don't make no sense. So you're trying to tell me that you're not worried about what God, how God designed mm -mm. marriage. Mm -mm. Okay, You want to do it your way because you think it's going to work out that way. And because of that, he moved from one, two, three, about four. And you leave all your little soul yes. ties with each yes. of them people. Eh? Exactly. Look at you. You got to look so at you. Yes. Never you know? base marriage ba uh, uh, on 
on sexual intimacy first. Never, never. never. That's and a that is number. why we have the whole idea of should size yes. matter. Yes, the exactly. The whole talk of should That's size where it came matter. From. Exactly. I, I, you know what else? Me realize that people are talking about size too. The size of the people, them pocket and them bank account. Yes. We don't build anymore, do we? No, it don't we seem don't like we don't build do. anymore. No. And I'm not saying that you're supposed to go and date a broke person or a person. No, I, I'm not doing that. Time. No, that's for sure. But at the same time, you are not you are not basing your yeah. Spiritual relationship that God bless it. You're not based it off of them pockets or them right. bank accounts. As long as you're right? gainfully employed, exactly, which is very important, and it's going somewhere, man, man, you know, man but man, not man. just a man pick up a man who ain't got no job because that's how Paul would be responsible. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know? Listen, I think you, 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 me worship had asked the question when we were talking about, you know, husbands or, or so that lose the feeling in their penises or lose their, um, lose their penises or become quadriplegics, paraplegics, and are not able to use their penises anymore. How do they handle such a loss? And I mean, um, sometimes it is for couples to really build on what they have the connection they have sometimes it just so happens that with all of that whether the wife leaves or the husband leaves whatever it happens but it's really important for them to try to build something outside of what the sex is the, right. if you love that person I, oh, I I remember asking my husband this. What if I met in an accident and, you know, I can't move around? And he right. never liked when I asked the question. But he would always say, I'm going to love you through it. Maybe wow. Maybe he was talking. Now that's Maybe true he was just a talk. That's true. You know? Love. Maybe he was just talking, but who knows? But you have but, but you but you know that already, Lady G. You already felt his love from the beginning. So yes. as as the, the, the marriage vow says in sickness and in health, richer for poorer. The okay. Could that be a part? Yes. Exactly. So if you honor those vows, you know, that should take you through your life. You know, I see I've met seen people married for 70 years. I'm like, wow, how do they do that? 80 yes. years. I'm like, wow, 80 years. That's powerful. My goodness, Powerful. and they still so lovers. The eighty years married, years and they still lovers. lovers. My goodness, still holding hands, still looking at each other, and being all you know, wiggly eyed and stuff like that. You know, it's amazing. Wow, little things, little things. My little goodness. things matter more in a relationship than the big things. So true, and that's a size that matter. Yes. The little things. The little things. The little things that is a size that matters, ladies and yes. gentlemen. Listen, I was, I was looking at somebody here on who was saying you me words. Uh huh. Says, That's no one wants to help each other anymore. I think it's because of a lack of trust. Oh, oh. And then she, are uh, you? Yes. My coach, Minish, and she's right. And you me words. She says, "How does one find a good partner in today's world?" That's be patient. You That's just it. gotta be patient. I, I, hey, I'm patient. <laughs> you just and, and guess what? I'm so patient. I'm getting all these counterfeits. <laughs> And that's gonna come. You have to be patient and open your Holy eyes because a lot of counterfeit will come your Holy way. In this waiting period. Oh Lord of mercy. Counterfeit after counterfeit. A whole lot Jesus. of persons who want yes. to use you and yes. abuse you. They're gonna show up and they're gonna yes. pop up out of nowhere in your waiting period. Yes. But you you can't rush God. It might look no. sweet. It might sound nice. Listen to me. Yes. I think I, I met somebody the other day, and I think the best thing he did for me was put me in the friend zone. Because awesome. if I was working on what my mind was saying, I wanted to be like, okay, I'm ready to date. Da, 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 da. Right. But the best thing that he did for me, and I think that was God orchestrating everything, was put me in the friend zone of and course. caused some little things to happen where we could not see each other. 
that's right it's what's supposed to be and the, and and i just i i was like god all right fine if that is what you want how you want to do it i am good with it yes that's right yeah so we have to be patient and open our eyes because if we are not careful we will mess up ourselves and the thing i want persons to get lady faith is a penis vagina body size it matters for more than just your partner's sexual pleasure it's yes, a lot about right. confidence sex that's appeal, it. and how you use what you have Keywords. larger penis size and a tighter vagina is usually attributed to greater attractiveness and more sex appeal we know that but we want to know that those concerns about penis size and then something there we don't want it to be just about shouldn't, those shouldn't it be em so em emphasizing that too much don't overemphasize that shouldn't because over you will lose the yeah. essence of what your relationship that's right is that's right to be yeah, that's right that's right but you know what a lot of the times when we have these issues of is my penis big enough is that 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 that, that all of those things were, were probably coming from our past experiences and yes the shaming the shaming like um pornography yes. and something yes. there those things mess up our brain and mess up yes. how we perceive ourselves and then we look at the next person down the road and we see how them confident and we probably listen to them and have sex you know and we say oh i have the girl on the agony and murder and me can never do that comparison is the thief of joy not and good. be not good. clear that you shall no longer compare yourself to anybody that you see yes. whether they're skinny yes. whether them fat whether them have big ass big breasts anything like that you are not going to compare yourself because that is going to steal your joy that's right the size that should matter for you right now is the size of your heart the size of your heart for yourself and the size that of your heart for god and the size of your heart for the person you are in love with with that's right i implore you all my viewers out there guard your heart with all diligence and do not taint your eyes or thoughts with unclean things lady faith you have your book that you want yes. to show us <laughs> yes. yes this book is about to this book uh called 12 erotic fantasies for intimacy mm -hmm. uh, i will be doing my book signing um, yes. october 1st saturday october 1st from 11 to 3 p.m yes. at the mount vernon public library uh in the community room again that's saturday october 1st 11 a.m to 3 p.m and that's in mount vernon new york that's right and again my book is called 12 erotic fantasies for intimacy so this That's is a book right. to enhance uh the marital process if you uh are uh, thinking of getting married and uh you're already married this book is to really stimulate your mindset create fantasies in your mind to make that bedroom lighter Ooh. make it lit yes yes lit whether up. you're big or small yes. Exactly. What are your penis large? Uh, or if you have downloaded my CD. This is hot. Yes, hotter. So they they kind of connecting now. So you know it's going to be on, right <laughs> on and popping. That's yes. right. Let me, let me try to, to read. Maybe come a little on, read a piece. <laughs> Fruity desire. Oh my Ooh. love, my honey and my flower. Your lips Ooh. taste like sweet strawberries as I kiss your face. Then your tongue slowly goes in and out as you tickle my earlobes. Oh, I feel a rise between my thighs, which makes me want to take you now and ride you till the sunset under a rock. Come true. My love, please don't leave me riding in ecstasy. You have ravaged my heart with that sly look in your eyes. A penny for your thoughts, my love. Ooh. Yeah, girl. 
look here, married people must have fun. Christian married people and must have yes. fun. Please go and have get yes. Lady Faith's book. Yes, yes, yes. Please go and get, look here. We need to have fun. Yes, you got to have fun. You got to have fun. Oh yeah. my goodness, I love yes. it. Twelve erotic fantasies for intimacy. Yes, look here. Don't forget to Guys, download the CD. Go and get it. <laughs> go and get it. Go and get Lady Faith yes. CD. Yes. Listen to me. I have been so to blessed tonight. Yes. I have been so so blessed tonight with this discussion. Yes, Lady Faith, your insight as always has been amazing. Awesome. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. All of the questions, the concerns that you have had, I hope that I hope that we would have answered your questions so. yes. tonight and from last week. And I hope that if anybody has any other question to ask email if you us. have any other concern you can definitely email us yes. at info at family all the way dot com yes. or family at ume radio dot com and if you need some support or if you want to see some exclusive clips go to family all the way dot com don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on all socials at ume radio hashtag ume radio and please 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 make sure that you continue to support us support this show comments always share it with your friends share it with your spouse just share it get it out there so that we can continue to bless persons as we have tonight such a wonderful show. Yes. Such a wonderful discussion. And Lady G, I they can connect to me. Yes. yes. And they can connect to me at WAMOE.org. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You can connect with Lady Faith at WAMOE Ministries. That's it, Lady Faith. WAMOE.org. Dot o -R -G. Yes. And you can also cash up her. You can find yes. her on Instagram. Appreciate. Yes. Too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You'll see it coming up. You can cash app her at yes. number sign. I mean, dollar, dollar sign. sign outreach twenty two. Dollar you. sign outreach yes. twenty two. You can find her on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram yes. at author Giselle Saint James as well. Follow us. Follow um you and me radio on social Facebook. media as well. Facebook everywhere. YouTube. Just That's go right. and follow. Share us. Carib vision, yes. Go on right. this journey with yes. us. Yes. Go on this journey with us. We're so excited to continue to bring you good content. Yes. So that our Christian couples, all our couples all over the world. Good, healthy yes. content, Lady G. Yes. Healthy. Yes, definitely. And, and of course, the word of God. Until next time, continue to have great sex as the yes. Lord intended. <laughs>